<laughs> it's all about Chris Paul. It is all about Chris Paul, and it is about whether or not he's going to start. And Steve Kerr, we're going to get into some of this sound, but I'll, I'll just paraphrase all right. to start. Steve Kerr says, we've got six starters. Six starters. And obviously we can only play five, but we got to figure it. We got to figure it out. What did you read into uh, when you heard that? Listen, we are a year removed from the debacle that was the Warriors training camp last year. I'm fired up. I got my gear on. Warrior fans, Dub Nation is ready, Steiny. But a lot of teams have six starters. Why did it need to be echoed? Why did it need to be said? And just from afar, it looks like they're they're doing that for someone and someone's ego. Like, to me, Stani, you who's your starting five? You ain't got to tell me now, but to say six starters is telling me there's a cloud over the Warriors. I won't call it dark. It's a starting cloud. This Stani, I just don't like because it sounds like somebody doesn't like their possible role. Well, and I just you, don't get it. I mean, you might be right. You might be right. Is it? I don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill, but is it like a football team going a month or so before training camp or a week or two before training camp and you're like, hey, guess what? There's gonna be a there's gonna be a competition for the starting quarterback job. You know what? I'm not mad at that, but I believe that would be different because it would kind of be more obvious to everybody. But Chris Paul, this is his first rodeo. Stani, and the you coaching to miss uh, Kendra Andrews, that was a signal. But I just don't understand what was what was accomplished because, to me, pro sports is about, hey, ego aside, let go of my ego. It's about the betterment of the team. Now, this could be bigger than Chris Paul, but I don't believe when they tell Looney you got to come off the bench or Draymond, you didn't have to do what I believe is walking on eggshells, Donny. I just So, my question to you and Dub Nation and the listeners, who's starting? That's a great question. See, that's great question. Wow. Uh here's here's what Steve Kerr said yesterday. Uh, when he met with reporters about uh, who's starting. And the one reason he was asked is because he is coaching. Yeah, I mean, we basically have six starters, I mean, the way I look at it. And um, only five can can go each night. So I haven't decided yet uh, what we're going to do. I want to see training camp. We're going to try different combinations and, and take a look. Obviously, all six guys are going to play a lot of minutes for us. But, you know, if this is going to work, then everybody has to to embrace it regardless of who's starting and who's not. It, it only works if uh, if the whole team buys in. And I know these guys well. Um, I know five of them really well, and I'm getting to know Chris. And I, the one thing I know about all of them is they want to win more than anything. They're an incredibly competitive group, and I, I'm very confident that we'll figure it out and, and the guys will buy in and find a way. 888-957-9570, what'd you hear Steve Kerr say there? Did you hear him say... Yeah, Chris Paul's going to probably start. Or did you hear him say, Chris isn't going to start. We're going to figure it out before the season. Oh, before or, you or, answer, Or did you hear, maybe Chris starts and somebody you don't think will come off the bench. So a guy like me, a regular Joe Smo, do you under, it sounds like you may understand where I'm at. Like, why are we even asking these questions? It, it should be known already. Why? Because Chris, the Warriors... The the team that's won four chips with 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 this uh, this version of the team, this players, this starting five. Why would anything come in to throw that off? Well, because they and you're just what two years removed from your last chip in 2022. Yeah. Well, because uh, you've acquired a future Hall of Famer. Uh, you've acquired somebody who's probably what a 12 time All Star. Then make that change. And what, what, why the, I'm just, you know, the dog and pony show about how many starters you got. Because Chris Paul's starting. Well, maybe he's got to find out. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe Steve Kerr doesn't know right now what he's going to do. Um, <laughs> I think that's possible. And the fan base, they don't make any decisions, but I'm part of it, and I love this team. Stani, just like the rest of them. Can you agree that when this was announced, a lot of people, not you, thought Chris Paul was coming off the bench? No, I thought he, I, I don't, yes. I so mean, did I. I'm, I, right. that's but what I, I thought. But I think what we found out is that, you know, Mike Dunleavy just kind of made this move. And, and 
said, we'll figure it out after the move's made because we have to we have to move Jordan Poole because we've got to get him off our team and we've got to save that money. Obvi- okay. So we'll do the Chris Paul deal. But it's obvious that Chris Paul wants to start. He has a record going with consecutive starts. Yep. You think he wants that? Especially here with the guys that have you know been to the mountaintop a few times? I mean... If it's I'm, obvious to me Chris Paul wants to start. Right. Even if he were in New Orleans. Right. He should. He should he want should. to start. He's never not started. That man. He's a, again, he's a 12-time All-Star. And I get that the Warriors have won titles, and he hasn't. But there is a sensitivity that the Warriors have to show here. I mean, they've got to show a certain amount of respect that, what for a Chris word. Paul. Yeah, Ralph Trez, man, they just, sensitivity. They just do. And vice versa. Chris Paul's got to figure out a way to f- to fit in here. I just don't think. Listen, I just don't think he's crazy about being here. I, I just that's, don't. That's interesting. I don't think he. I don't think he saw it coming. Uh, I don't think he think he f- thinks he fits great here, especially if he's wow. got to come off the bench. And I think he knows that they move that they moved off Jordan Poole. Well. Do you think they? Do you think the move was more about moving off Jordan Poole or acquiring Chris Paul? Uh, moving off of Jordan Poole, ninety nine point nine. And I think Chris Paul knows that. And that is something I never gave credence to, Stiney. Yeah. So, eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero. We're going to play a lot of that sound from Steve Kerr and Mike Dunleavy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with the uh, Golden State Warriors. Uh, we'll also talk some football, obviously. Uh, the Niners play the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday, but uh, as as it pertains to to the Warriors, I think the big the big question is what's going to happen with Chris Paul. Um, is he going to start? And I'm assuming he's going to finish. But I guess we can answer is, wow. the question of whether or not we th- we think he's going to finish. We got uh, Clay Thompson and and Steve Kerr uh, both looking for contract extensions. Uh, do we get those done before the season? And we've got age issues for the Warriors. They're getting up there. Can they put one more big year together and, and win title number five? 888-957-9570. But I think it all starts with uh, with Chris Paul and whether, like, he's the, Goo, he's the one who will be a big reason Things get off on a good foot, or maybe don't get off on a good foot, right? He no, had, no had, doubt about it. And I'm going to tell you this because I think the world of Chris Paul. And before you made your, uh, you know, your prediction that he might come here, all I went was he's such a gladiator that now when we have, we're a week away from Dame Dollar's comments about possibly coming to the Warriors, and I step back and as a soldier, I'm putting myself in it. That's what I'm calling Dame Dollar, Steiny. He didn't want to come here for the reasons he specified. But Steiny, I can honestly feel like, okay, right now Dame's got more to offer than Chris Paul, but Chris Paul is 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 a future Hall of Famer. I feel like he could have wrote that thesis. He could have said exactly what Dame said about coming to this locale and it being the locale and the cast of characters to help him win. Like, I'm not selling fear or panic. This just is not a perfect fit, and there's and it's not just to us citing, you know, pointing it out. So I am fascinated on opening night how this thing is going to go down, what's going to happen. Then once you get past the starting aspect of it, you just brought up the other one that hits me in the side like a kidney shot. Is he going to finish? Like what will be enough for Chris Paul here? Uh, that's a great question. That's a great question. I I think it's interesting that a lot of people don't think he should start, but I think everybody acknowledges he should probably finish. I mean, why would you have gone out and gotten Chris Paul if you didn't think he was going to finish games? Can you sell him on, don't worry about starting, you're going to finish? I don't know. He's, wow. he's been in the league 18 Man. years. He's never come off the bench. So they're in the process of working it out, and who knows what's going to happen. So real quick before you get to, so yeah. that would be, let's just say he finished, and I know every game's different. It presents a you know different different problem or, you, you know, Solution that you have to the kind of remedy. You're telling me Chris Paul, Clay, Steph, Dre, 
and Wiggins could be your finish in five? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I think so. I mean, I, and you know how much I think about rebounds, man. Well, look at the Sacramento series. Looney saved them. Uh, he did. But, I mean, they finished small a lot right, of the right. time during their big-time years. Jason in Oakland. What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Hey, guys. Thank you very much for taking my call. Sure. Uh, yeah, just looking looking at this team here, um, getting into this conversation, I don't think it really matters who starts uh, for this team. I think there's been always much more of an emphasis about who finishes. Just looking at the lineup, it looks like CP3 would be the type of guy to finish. They don't usually have Looney in there at the end of the game. Um, but at the same time, my, my big issue with this team is um, they just seem like they're going to be that type of team, just like the Mike D'Antoni Phoenix teams with Nash, where, you know, they can score a ton, but they can't get stops to save their life. And I feel like Kerr's system kind of got exposed during the Olympics as well. They're kind of getting away from the big man type of, you know, running things here. So just a little worried about, you know, the size that the Warriors have. WV said they got, they like five guys in training camp that they have to play center. Not exactly sure who those guys are, but it seems like they're going to be running with a six, eight, six, nine, six, ten center all season. And just hope the Warriors have enough to make a run to the Western Conference championship, possibly get another chip, get five rings on the hands of Steph, Clay, and Dre. So we'll see what happens. But just once again, worried about the defense and Pre- rebounding and how, how that's going to go on this. Hey, guys, appreciate your time. Appreciate Thank you. the call, uh, Jason. All fair um, points. Who can play center on this team? Steve Kerr said, uh, Dunleavy said five guys, so he's probably talking about Looney, Trace Jackson Davis, that, that was Draymond out of my Green, mouth. Sarich. I don't know who else. Who am I missing? Oh, Draymond. Draymond huh? can play five. Duh. So there, there it is. Uh, but, look, Chris Paul, you got, I mean, to me, Finishing with Chris Paul and Steph Curry and even Clay Thompson, I mean, you're putting essentially three 90% foul shooters out there late in the game. I love that idea. Well, you're um, talking offense. Well, I am talking offense, but I'm also talking about Chris Paul. You know, he's been first team all defense five times in his career. When was the last one? Uh, I think 18. I 18. But Respect. listen, the Warriors. So now, you know, you. I thought you didn't worry about defense. But please, I'm the one that, that, that Tizo on the uh, first NorCal YouTube chat remembers. You were like, Goo, rebound it ain't defense. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Please stop, Stiney. Then Russell Westbrook is one of the greatest defensive players we've seen from the backcourt position. If rebounding is defense, Westbrook is a great defensive player. But it's why Rodman and Ben Wallace and all those guys got to the Hall of Fame. No, and Rodman effort. was a it's, great it's, defensive player. It's like the dip rebounding. bar at the gym and the pull-up bar. It's always empty. Nobody wants to do those because they're strenuous workouts. I, I, rebounding is effort. Moses Malone, oh, it is effort. Deep. Oh, it's yeah. effort. I just don't think it's defense. We've been through that. It's your birthday. I'm nope. you Nobody's going to. No, you don't know. We'll take it easy. There's nothing to have. <laughs> said, a lot of people disagree with me, including, hey. That is, I like that. The Cubert. Let's go to Prince in, in Oakland. What's up, Prince? How you doing? Hey, how you doing, man? Happy birthday, Sonny. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate thank it. Oh, that's no problem. Uh, I just wanted to get to this Chris Paul situation. As a real Warriors fan, I feel like I'm, I'm with Guru, man. I'm not here to stroke Chris Paul's ego right now, man. I thought we was coming to play with the Warriors. We're not going to play with him. We didn't go to the Phoenix Suns, did we? I thought I thought he was coming to play with us. Like he said, Guru, are you hit it right on the nose, bro. This is a bad cloud already leading into the season. <sighs> How we got to worry about this? Steve Kerr, where's your backbone? What kind of credibility are you showing? We was already small going into the Lakers series. Why do you think we lost? We didn't lose because of effort. We lost because we couldn't rebound the ball. We couldn't stop Anthony Davis. What are we doing here? I need him to groom the young people and shut up and sit down. That's why he probably have not won a championship. I wasn't there, obviously. But come on now, let's, let's start asking people what happened in these locker rooms for him not to win no championship all these times, all this all these talent. We don't always have the best talent on the Warriors. Come on, man, it's the camaraderie, man. Come on, man, we just got rid of Jordan Poole. We can't go into this season like this, man. Like I said, if Steve Kerr do that, where is your backbone, bro? Where is it? Man. Tell him, sit down, bro. You just got here, bro. You need to earn your number like Deion said. Who gave <laughs> oh him number God. three anyway? Well, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I didn't mean to get 
No, I no, love appreciate it. it. I Man. Got appreciate it, Prince. Appreciate it. I mean, there's a couple things, though, that I – and I don't – listen, he's got, he's got a very uh, – he's got a point of view that I'm sure a lot of people share. By the same token, Chris Paul was traded here. Yeah, he didn't ask to come uh, here. Mm. I, mm. Chris Paul didn't – he wasn't living his life – in L.A. Said, get me there. Yeah, he didn't, and, and then on Phoenix, and now he's on Washington, and him saying, you know what? I think when he was in Washington, he was thinking, you know what? I'm going to get bought out, and I'll figure something out where I get to go where I want to go. And he's on Washington, and they move him to the Warriors. There's no way he wanted to be moved to the Warriors. So here he is with the Warriors, and he's got to... Play with these guys who have four rings among them, and he doesn't, and he's got a big ego, and he's never come off the bench. And listen, they got to figure this out. And people wow. might say, uh, oh, hey, it doesn't matter who starts. Yes, it does if Chris Paul wants to start. If Chris Paul wants to start, it matters who starts. Mm. This is an issue they have to figure out, and they need everybody to buy in. That's why Steve Kerr was talking about everybody needs to buy in. I don't know if he was talking about maybe Looney. Maybe he's talking about Draymond. We know it's not Looney. We know it's not Draymond. No, but he, he may be meaning Looney. Like, yeah, hey, guess what? Kavon's got a sacrifice. He's got to come off the bench. Okay, but Draymond's got a sacrifice. Got to come off the bench. I, I, again, there's no need to stick up for anybody, Donnie. So I, I don't know why I'm throwing that out there. But let me tell you who is uh, not high maintenance, low maintenance like a mofo. And that's one Kavon Looney. I mean, we've seen him have to come to the bench and it's never been a public thing. I'm just, you know, I'm different. When I heard Steve Kerr say six starters, I thought of Atco. I said right then the Warriors have a rat on the table, an issue that they have to address. And about the, because right now, Steiny, what it's about is who CP3 has been and what he has meant. And right now his silhouette, not his game, is in the way right now and slash ego of just making a decision to where the coach could say, I don't got to worry about the, the the residual. Right now, it sounds like they got that team has to worry about the residual, and Chris Paul needs to make the start lineup. We'll see. We'll see. What do you do if you're Steve Kerr? Wow. Is there a right way to handle this? And the other thing is, I look at this situation and say, well, what's the path of least resistance? Americans love it. That would be moving Looney to the bench. You're because right. you know what? He won't say a word, and he'll just keep his head down and, and keep playing. He'll still make change for people. He'll still fix well, What about the rebounds you lose and the basketball component yeah. of it? 